you might have seen them popping up all over social media. Pop-up restaurants and food experiences are all the rage. It's an experience. It's a cool, different experience that's you know, usually never here. While the definition of a pop-up is loose, it's basically a place you can only go temporarily. Limited amount of time is the key there. People, when they see that you can't have it forever, they're like, oh, I gotta go there now. So they rush to it. Jordan Andino is the executive chef and owner of Flip Siggy. He's taken his brick-and-mortar location in the West Village and flipped it into a cool and fun pop-up location on the Versa rooftop in Midtown Manhattan. I just walked in and it was like this really cool, secluded entrance. It's amazing. Everything's amazing. Here at the Versa rooftop, you can't miss the Flip Siggy brand. There's some Flip Siggy restaurant staples like pork belly bao buns, but there's also plenty of pop-up specialties like lobster bao buns and lychee cocktails. But the piece de resistance is the lechon, which is a whole roasted pig that's just spit roasted for about seven to eight hours. It's delicious. And it may feel like pop-up restaurants are a Manhattan thing, but they're actually everywhere. Just to name a couple, there's the Yaki Tiki Japanese food and tiki cocktail pop-up in Greenpoint, and then there's the Shugo Beach sushi pop-up in East Hampton. Pop-ups help everyone that are involved. And Dino says if you have a brick and mortar location in need of a boost in sales, you bring a pop-up in. Pop-up restaurants and food concepts often take place in the space of other businesses. You have people who have a restaurant, you have people who want to expose themselves a little more to the, a, a bigger crowd, so you put the two together and everyone wins. So pop on into your local pop-up, the clock is ticking. Alexis Santos, News 12.